The YMI, the acronym itself stands for the Young Men's Institute, which is, you know, when you look at late 19th century history and, you know, patriarchal ideas, it was about training, especially African American men, young men to kind of take over roles as leaders, not only of their households, but as leaders of their community. That it was an institution that was open to everybody, not just black men, even though the focus of its activities was young black males. It was an organization from the very beginning that was open to the participation of women. I mean, Asheville School System was established in 1888, and um, the first black school here in Asheville, black public school, at least opened in 1888 and there wasn't enough space to accommodate all of the people, all of the African-American students who wanted to go to school at the time. So they immediately had to open a second school, which still didn't provide enough. And when the YMI came along, you know, one of the first things that the leaders of the Institute did was to establish both a day and night school there. They established a kindergarten later on. So it served, you know, that role and it was open to, um, to as a space, it was open to both African-American men and women. I think that uh, it's good to see the YMI moving in this position of wanting to be the repository for where that information is kept, what, what it means to be African-American in Southern Appalachia in Western North Carolina. It becomes the place that kind of becomes the repository for that. But I know this, it serves a, a number of things, a, a many uh, community activities that it does, like Goombay, which is one of the things that it sponsors. The one thing that I'll say about Goombay, why I think that it's, um, that it's important what the YMI does through this cultural f festival is that you, you, need to, you need to have a gathering point, a place where people can come together to talk about their cultural experiences. And I believe that Goombay provides that, uh, that space here in Asheville, I mean, which is something very unique for uh, Western North Carolina because we still don't know enough about what the, what the exact nature of the African-American experience in Western North Carolina and Southern Appalachia is. And Goombay provides the opportunity for that to happen. It's also important of how they more incorporate the unique experiences of African Americans in this region, in that festival. And that's something that is great to see them working to do. I mean, it's always good to go and hear the music, always good to go and taste all of the different food that they have there. But I think that these larger intellectual features of Goombe and what it means in the larger sense and the discussions that it has generated become very important to that experience as well.